YouTube channel, and it's supposed to be like a simulated talk show. We are her live audience. <coughs> I'm introducing John, and he will introduce Karen, and they will continue on. Mr. John Roberts. Thank you, Sheila. Hello, everyone. We have a great show for you today. Our first guest is Karen Rogers. Karen is a certified science teacher who decided to take her teaching out of the classroom and put it on YouTube. She currently has a blog you can find on RatchetRogers.com and a YouTube channel called Ratchet Rogers. She educates, motivates, and entertains. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Karen Rogers. Thank you. Karen, thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you for having me. Tell us about Ratchet, Ratchet Rogers. How did it start? Okay, well, I was a science teacher for 20 years, and I loved my teaching job. But I wanted more. I wanted more freedom. I wanted more students, hopefully more money. And so I thought, what I'll do, I, it actually took me a while to figure out what to do. But after watching enough social media and all those clips and all the junk that's on the internet, I thought, wait a minute, why don't I just put little clips of my teaching, little lessons, so that when people watch these lessons, they'll feel smarter or entertained or maybe motivated and I thought let me just put these little clips on the internet and start a YouTube channel and teach that way. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with the name Ratchet Rogers? Well it's funny you ask. Most people think Ratchet Rogers is a terrible name. <coughs> uh, <laughs> but my students gave me that name and, and they it's an homage to my students is really what that is. And also, I wanted a kind of a catchy name, and also something that hadn't been taken on YouTube. And there's a lot of Karen Rogerses, KRs, K Rogers, but there's only one Ratchet Rogers, and so that's why I chose that name. Excellent, very <laughs> nice. How long have you been doing this? I my very first video was in October, and so it hasn't even been a year yet. And how's it been going? It's good. I, I like it. I'm not making any money yet, and that's a problem, but I've started, and that's really what I wanted to do. Right now, I have 80 subscribers. I have over 4,000 views, and I have 23 video blogs. They call them vlogs, video vlogs, vlogs. So it's, it's started, and that's what I'm happy about. Great. Mm -hmm. What has been the most difficult thing for you so far? Uh, the most difficult thing has been learning to use the technology. I, I'm no good at technology. I need a seventh grader to help me with it. <laughs> <coughs> but if you, I think with most technology, if you just take the time and have patience, you'll figure it out eventually. But it's been a challenge learning how to upload. I still have to make a thumbnail, those are the little pictures that are next to the YouTube. I haven't quite figured that out. And and my videos aren't real professional. They're pretty raw right now. But it's a start. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out in the audience that would like to do something similar. Mm -hmm. How would you tell how would you tell them to get started? Well, if you want to do a blog, that's fairly simple. I use Bluehost, which is the space, and then WordPress, which is the blogging tools. And I paid $150 for a year of that. And you can do it for free, but really, it's one of those things you get what you pay for, I believe. There's some cheaper ones, but you don't have as many options. But, uh, you could start today if you wanted to start a blog. They just type in how do I start a blog and it will you'll you'll find out how to do that. But if you want to do what I did, then it's Bluehost and WordPress and prepare to spend a little money on that. 
Um, YouTube, very easy. All you have to do is sign up to YouTube just like you would on Facebook and you can start instantly uploading videos and they even have some editing tools on YouTube. They're not maybe the best, but to start they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Can you make money on YouTube videos? Um, I haven't yet. I know that you can. Most of the people <laughs> who make money on YouTube are gamers. They play video games and I thought why would anybody watch somebody else play video games but they're watching how to win and those are the ones that make a lot of money and you get paid by sponsors and advertisers and so basically you really need people to watch your shows and your videos right. and they say you need at least 10,000 views for YouTube to pay any attention to you and a thousand subscribers so I have 4,000 views and 80 subscribers I've got my ways to go but I figure if I just keep making the videos, that's what they say, to consistently post and give it a year. And hopefully I can. Focus on the positive. You have 4,000. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> only, um, let's see, if I have 80 subscribers, I only have 920 left. There you go. That's <laughs> the way to look at it. Who's your target, target audience? It's funny, I get asked that a lot and I don't really know. I, I think in some ways it's geared towards teachers, maybe students, but honestly it's for anybody who wants to watch them. I educate, motivate, and entertain all. Are your videos on any topic in particular? A lot of them are science related like evergreen tree identification or phases of the moon, but some are more motivational um, like tips for physical fitness and then others are just plain entertaining more for fun so there's a real wide variety interesting mm -hmm. is there anything else you want to add for the audience um, I think just uh, if, if you're interested please watch I'm trying to be a combination of Bill Nye, <laughs> Martha Stewart, Harry and Rosemary Wong and Ellen and <laughs> So it's, it's interesting, it's a learning experience for me. I have started doing interviews with people and that's, I think that's really something nice and good about the channel. And then the other thing is I've noticed that any more than two minutes is too long for social media. So I'm going to have to try to make my, I'm gonna try to make one minute lessons. I haven't done any yet, but I've realized they're too long, and so I'm going to shorten them and do these one-minute lessons. And do you think one minute is short enough? I, I don't. It's probably too long still for internet, but for social media. For social media, and I'll keep my regular blog on YouTube, the one, the longer videos. But I think I need to shorten them up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We wish, wish you lots of luck. <laughs> Folks, go ahead and check out RatchetRogers.com or check out Ratchet Rogers on YouTube if you want to be educated, motivated, and or entertained. Karen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, John. <laughs>44 director. He's here to uh, induct officers. I think there are only three of us here. No, there are four of us here. We were trying to do this last time, but he was unable to.